when we talk about Epic today, is there a way that you would describe Epic's current culture or the culture that you're striving to bring to the business? Yeah, so, you know, I think many things from the beginning still exist. Um, and we remain entrepreneurial. We're very strategic. We are highly specialized. Um, you know, my partners uh, who are helping me drive the business today, Steve Denton and Pete Garvey and John Jennings and, you know, all of our teams below that, they are all great at something or some things. And they all contribute to the overall of, of, of who we are. And, you know, they, they've relieved me from things that operationally I either tired of or ran its course and they're probably better than me. And now I get to spend my time on, you know, a lot of things that are happening in the industry that that's, you know, where's the future going? Distribution's changing. Underwriting is changing. Mm -hmm. Value brought by brokers to clients is changing. And I, I get to think about that and I get to wake up at three o'clock still every day trying to figure out, and how do we differentiate and how do we win uniquely? So mm -hmm. um, we're still entrepreneurial. It's a lot of what our recent move and the uh, evolution of, uh, of Galway Holdings. I mean, we could have just kept doing what we were doing at Epic. We have a great run, mm -hmm. but, you know, we're looking at this company as being a long-term company. If you read any of Simon Sinek's books, his most recent book, The Infinite Game, is just probably it's probably the most impactful book I've read in five years and you know you've got to you got to make decisions today that build that for the next 10 to 20 years and you know there are some things that will change and lots of things that uh, that need to stick I mean they need to be your your people need to bank on them and we're learning on that during COVID right is mm -hmm is how the the foundation you built prior to COVID either enabled you to react and behave without interruption by running a company by Zoom, which I had no idea we'd be able to do. Uh -huh. um, and have 3,200 people connected without being in an office. You know, if you would have asked me in January, could we do it? I would have just said, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. And it has been seamless.